Hi, today I'd like to share with you a few ways that I do brush or color crystals. Uh, Stampin' Up! bought um, a package of five color crystals um, in the Occasions catalog this year. And I actually have a bigger set that I bought probably a year and a half ago and never really did anything with it because I was a little intimidated by them. Um, but I've been playing around with them and I shared on my Facebook page the other day um, this card. And this actually has two brusho um, techniques on it. It has a whole page brusho and then just one that you do um, for a background. So I told my Facebook page followers that I would do a video for them. So this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how to make the butterfly and make the splatter background for it. So here we go. So the first things you're going to want to do is have your materials. Um, brusho is, you're going to have to use a lot of water. So I would recommend that you get a heavy duty watercolor paper or um, you could probably even do it on thick whisper white cardstock, but I have not done that yet. So don't quote me on that. So I have a piece of watercolor paper. Um, I'm just going to cut a piece that's probably big enough to do two of the butterflies on it. So I don't even know how big this is. I think it's like four inches by, I don't know, six inches or something. Then you're going to need your brush of color crystals. Um, I have orange, brilliant red, and yellow ready to go. You're going to need a spray bottle full of water. Um, this is just a Stampin' Mist bottle that I had emptied and saved for some purpose, so this actually works out. And then a few things that I found really helpful are just to have a little cup full of water and a, and a brush um, in case some of the little bigger crystals don't break up. You can um, wipe them with a brush. And then for stamping the butterfly, you're going to use your Memento ink and, of course, your stamp. So the first things that I do is I like to take the lighter colors first and do them. So you'll notice when you do the crystals that they come out in a powder form. And what I do to open up the, the box is just poke a little hole in it. So I used a needle or a skewer or something like that. I don't remember how. And then I've seen a lot of people um, use pish pins to um, put in the hole so that you don't get a mess everywhere. So I just put down some yellow, and then I'm going to put down a little bit of orange, and then a little bit of red. Now you can always use more color after you start spraying, so it's best to just start with the least amount of color that you think you're going to want, and then add more color later. So and then just go ahead and start spraying. I've seen some people um, put their cardstock down with like painter's tape around it, but I actually like it when the colors kind of meld together because the paper is moving. So I tend to just leave it as is. So you're going to want to really make sure that you get this wet because that's when the magic happens. And then I noticed... Um, like I, I told you, um, a brush is really good to have because you'll see some of the color crystals are still a little bit dark right there. Maybe they just didn't get sprayed enough. So I'm just going to dollop them with a little bit of water. So make sure that all of that color kind of melds together. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a touch of red to the middle. And then go ahead and just kind of do this. And you can also pick this up and kind of move it if you want. So that's another reason why I didn't put this on with painter's tape or washi tape or anything. Just because I like to move the colors. Okay, so let's see if I need any more colors here. I'm going to do a little bit more orange. And use your, there we go. So once you um, are satisfied with the colors that are coming out, I'm just going to put a little bit of water right here because I kind of want to do, make sure that I got two things out of this. So I'm going to add a little bit more color to 
the edges just so that I can get two butterflies out of this. So I'm just going to run some more color over there. I'm turning it around, maybe a little bit more color over right here, maybe a little bit more right here. Oops. I'm going to spray that one. All right, so we have the colors. And then what you can do is you can either let this dry on its own. It'll probably take about 15 to 20 minutes. Or you can hit it with your heat tool. So I did this one earlier. And what I love about brushes is that it comes out different every single time. So this one is more orangey and ruddy versus this one, which has got a lot of, or of yellow in it because I used the yellow first. So I'm just going to get some paper towel and wipe this up so that we can get going to the next step. And then I'll share with you with the other paper that I did how to do the butterfly, which is really easy. That's probably the easiest part here. So let me get this all cleaned up and then we'll come back. This is really easy to clean. Just wipe it down if you need to spray with a little bit of water. And then wipe it again. Okay. So here's the part that I did earlier today, and all I'm going to do is just ink up my stamp with Memento ink. I find with the bigger stamps like this, it's easier to turn the stamp upside down and ink it up. And you really want to get a good lot of ink on there, so make sure that the whole stamp is inked up. And again, make sure your paper is totally and completely dry. So um, go ahead and just put your, and if the paper's kind of curved like that, go ahead and just kind of bend it a little bit. And go ahead and really push down on your stamp. Hopefully I didn't move it <laughs> just then. I, I did. So I'm going to do it again because I think I moved it when I pushed down on it. So, whoops. Good. All right, so we'll try it on the bottom here. All right, so push down really hard. <clears throat> All right, here we go. And if you find that you have some spots that aren't inked up as well, just go ahead and grab a black marker and um, just fill in the little spots with the ink um, with your marker. Even a Crayola marker is fine as long as it's black. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to grab a pair of scissors and you're going to fussy cut this thing out. So it's not really that hard to cut out either. Um, so just go around and cut it out. And then you'll have a beautiful butterfly. And this is one that I did earlier. So that's what your butterfly should look like after it's done. So that's the first part of this is just how to make the butterfly. The other part is the background, and I am just going to take a little bit of, this is turquoise, this is one of the colors that doesn't come in the set, um, but I don't have Prussian blue, it's just a weird thing. So I actually ordered the, the set that um, Stampin' Up! has just because it, it was cheaper just to get the colors again than to order the two that I don't have oddly enough. So all you're going to do um, in this, you can do this two ways. You can either put your water down first and then sp um, sprinkle on or you can just lightly sprinkle on your brush house the way you think you're going to have. And I, I just did it like in a and again you can always add more. So with this one you don't want to sprinkle on too many heavy dabs of color and then just get your water and spray. Now for this one, you don't really want a whole lot of water either, so I would just spray it just a few times. And I love like when it has like the bigger droplets of water because then you get like more concentrated color and you get some bigger dots in there, but that looks really good. 
So I would hit this with a, um, a heat tool so that it doesn't go um, in, in burst anymore. So that could be your background for this. And then you just take your fussy cut flower and put it on there. And then the rest of these are just, this is Calypso Coral, and then this is just some gold foil, and um, one of the um, the free free sets that you get when you spend $100. Um, at the $100 level for celebration is actually a die cut set. Um, so this is one of the die cuts that comes out of that is the word amazing. So I really like this card. So um, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or message me. And I will hopefully be bringing you some other in more interesting things that you can do with brushal color crystals. But those are the two easiest things that you can do with them. So I hope you like this. Thanks for watching.